some uh, amazing work out of that man. That's really ugly, man. Uh, that, that kind of fits. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy holidays. We'll see you guys back here. Quarter mile. Need a cocoa break. Got the cross finish line. I just want to beat you. About to go into this here Nordies. Stuffier than a box of stovetop. Yeah, she liked that one. All right, so it's the Nordstrom holiday sale party thing that they invited me to. Apparently because I spend all my dava dava bills here. Let's go see what they have to offer. So the Nordstrom event so far is very nice. I stumbled across some underwear over here and I'm actually kind of pissed off at Nordstrom because we strictly agreed that we would not use this picture of me. Um, I felt a little flat that day and just uh, didn't quite get the pump in that I needed. So Mr. Nordstrom, expect a piece of hate mail coming for me soon. I'm just kidding, it's not me. But this thing's like really cool. This is my nerd. Science. And stuff. Yo, what's up, gang? Uh, sorry for sounding so stuffy uffy, but uh, I'm hopefully on the outskirts of the sinus infection. Uh, went back to work today, and I'm up in our Leesburg office, and we're doing our Secret Santa for the group up here. Lucky me, I just get to drop two gifts. Uh, so what I did was I went over to that one Loudon shopping center thing where I got my Trosmo last time. Got another Trosmo. Uh, and I picked, well, the person from my Secret Santa is one of our nurses up here. And so what I did was I got a little some some from some Star Schmoozy and a little some some from that Alamo Draft House place I was telling you about. So a gift card to Alamo Draft House. And then this like pretty cool Starbucks coffee tumbler thing. So it's about a $20, $25 cap again. So this worked out pretty well because these were on sale. Got it for normally $14.95. It was on sale for $8.95. So I got that and then a $20 gift card to Alamo Draft House. And then I just gotta wrap these guys up, head in and uh, have a little lunchy poo, do a little gift exchange, and then I'm hitting the road back down to our McLean office today. So I'm just a road warrior. That's why you guys see me so much in my car because I'm back and forth between two offices, uh, devoted days in each office, but depending on who we have coming in patient wise, sometimes they need me in another office. And so I split my day up, chopped and screwed. God, it sounds like, eh! sounds like I'm talking, holding my nose underwater. So congested, so congested. Yeah, that last clip you saw was uh, this really cool bath salt, not zombie food. Uh, thing out of the May guide at this shop in Georgetown. Put it in, it was like lemongrass and eucalyptus and cucumber bath stuff. Uh, very relaxing. Lit a little candle poo, turned on some weekend, had a nice little chill session by myself in the bath. Really helped open up my sinuses. Very relaxing. Not really a bath person, pretty much team shower. Uh, but you know what? Sometimes you just gotta divulge. Indulge. Indulge, Chase. Yeah, and just gotta sit in a pool of your own dirty water. Uh, still a little bit stuffy and congested getting over the sinus infection. It's about day four. Um, was out of work Monday for it, and, but slowly the Sudafed and antibiotics have been really letting that ish flow out freely. You know what I'm saying? So I'm back at my place actually, and I'm doing some laundry. 
and picked up a few new things. I'm gonna show you real quick some recent wardrobe updates. One's just a new t-shirt. One's actually a new tuxedo suit thing that I picked up from Zara. The suit, uh, tuxedo, and the t-shirt are both from Zara. Now these are my first purchases ever from Zara. Uh, I've been in there a few times and I, it's really hit or miss for me. I see some things that are like, eh, I can maybe rock that. And it's a little too much Euro trash weirdness for me. So. Now, I will give a disclaimer. The tux is very much out of my element. Uh, it has kind of a floral, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show it to you. And now, I do not have a tuxedo shirt. That's something I'm gonna be picking up this weekend. I'm actually going back to Richmond because Kelsey's leaving. Why, Kelsey, why? I, yeah, if you know anything about me and where I get my haircuts, I get them done from Hair, the salon in downtown Richmond, and I'm gonna see my girl Kelsey for shoot, 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 shoot. Almost two years, yeah. And so I try to plan my trips, my visits back to Richmond around when I can see her and get my hair cut. Uh, I have had to see someone up here in Arlington a few times, kind of get the in-between cuts done, but my girl's moving back to Rhode Island, and so I'm going back to get one final cut. And while I'm there, I'm gonna go peep the Leadbury shop and see if I can get fitted for a tuxedo shirt for New Year's. So without further ado, let's show you some of the new swag you. Don't say that, Chase. Stupid. I have too many friends that say swag and I just soak it up like a dumb, ignorant sponge. First up, but first up, while I'm doing uh, Landry here. Ooh, that's a new nightstand. May was like, uh, hey, I need some place to put all my crap because she kept overtaking my nightstand. So I got her one of the same thing. Nightstand, happy wife, happy life, happy bae. Happy May. Anyway, so getting uh, into the colder months here, I got this really nice lightweight flannel sheet set from Amazon. It was uh, one of the same day prime deals, which was always awesome. Order in the morning, bam, got it in the afternoon. Cost me about $39.99. Not bad for a queen set. Fitted sheet, sheet, and pillowcases. And moving on to the Zara editions. Let's see. Oh, okay, calm down. All right, so first up, I'm wearing the Zara Essentials Deluxe Cotton T-shirt. Now, one of the things I've noticed about Zara is they're very heavily Euro style. Uh, and with that Euro style, unfortunately, comes Le Douche Neck. It's not a crew neck. It's not a V-neck. It's not a deep V-neck. It's just like they took a regular crew neck and just uh, 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 stretched that janks out. So this one was one that I saw that did not quite have as douchey of a douche neck. Um, and I just am a big fan of Army Green. This canteen green, lung green, olive, whatever you want to call it. So this is a somewhat some fitting shirt. Now I'm wearing it with my gym shorts right now because I'm about to go get my squats on. Uh, but I like it because like some of the other t-shirts and styling that I'm seeing kind of coming into style, style into style. Uh, it's kind of the slim fit cut up top, but then it has kind of the longer body. So um, May tells me it's very Cali, whatever that means. Might mean from California, might mean got its origins in calligraphy. No one will ever know. But uh, yeah, so this one has a little bit more of a droop in the neck than I prefer in a basic t-shirt. But I got this because it was on sale. I think it was like 16 bucks, which I still feel is kind of steep for a t-shirt, but I just really like the color. Uh, fairly thin, but soft, good cotton. Uh, this is probably gonna be one of my new concert shirts to rock with uh, my rail sneakers that I got a while back, those black and white. Converse style looking sneakers that a lot of you guys have asked me about. They are the rail, got them at Nordstrom. They were about 90 bucks. Uh, I would show you, but they're over in maze. Next up, I'm gonna show you the uh, tuxedo I was talking about. All right, now I hope the lighting does this justice. This is a kind of matte black tuxedo, three-piece tuxedo, vest, jacket, pants. Uh, and then, like typical, a lot of tuxedos kind of has a shine or a sheen uh, lapel. And now if you can tell, on here, the design, it kind of has like a, not quite a paisley, I don't know what it is, it's like a floral kind of subdued design. Uh, and it has like a slight felt feel to it. It is very, very, very different for me. It's something I saw in a mannequin a few weeks ago. And I was just like, hmm, I wonder if I could pull that off. So, in all things style and fashion and fashion forward or whatever you want to call it, it's all about learning some things that you don't normally incorporate into your style or your wardrobe, uh, but still staying kind of within your comfort level. So I got this. I'm going to try it on later with a tuxedo shirt. This may or may not be my New Year's Eve going out suit. So uh, yeah, 
I always wanted to get a tuxedo. This is pretty different. And let's see if I can rock it. Don't hate me if you don't like it. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm a 40 regular in jacket, 32, 30 in pants, and then I got the large in the vest here. Uh, again, went with a little bit larger stuff because Zara typically runs pretty slim because of that Euro style cut. Zara man. <laughs> gotta admit little bro that was pretty funny well guys that's gonna be all right so that was a little snippet into me and i's fun couple stuff last weekend the 5k was a lot of fun uh, really good weather i'm uh, really glad those sweaters were cheap because it was not cold out what else we do oh yeah zara tuxedo was like pretty cool so I'm going to get that on here in a little bit. I'm going to, I may bring it with me to Richmond tomorrow. I don't know. So I'm going to go pick up that Leadberry tuxedo shirt. I definitely need to get the Zara pants hemmed a little bit. The jacket I think fits pretty well as is. I normally get my jackets and everything tailored, but being kind of the European cut and slim cut, it fits pretty well off the rack. So that being said, if you're watching this, I'm most likely already on my way down to Richmond. I'm going to go see my girl Kelsey down at Hair, the salon, and uh, say goodbye. She's treating me really well over the past two years and gonna go and get one final cut. <sighs> Any of you guys feel me out there? I'm sure you find a bar where you find a girl cut your hair just the right way that you like and then they leave. Growing pains. Why does everyone always leave me? Anyway, so you guys have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. And uh, as always, you stay classy, planet Earth.